Now, what you need to be alarmed about is what you saw from the Golden State Warriors. They got blown out by the Los Angeles Clippers. 141 to 122, if I remember correctly, the most points given up in the Steve Kerr era over the last five years as head coach for the Golden State Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody's going to feel sorry for the Warriors. They're the reigning, they're the reigning five-time Western Conference champions. They've gone to five straight NBA finals. They've won three titles. I believe it would have been four if Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson hadn't been hurt. Hell, even with Kevin Durant hurt, I still believe Golden State would have beat Toronto with Kawhi Leonard if Klay Thompson hadn't gone down. And I'm not talking about just game six when he had 30 in two and a half quarters before going down for good with the ACL injury. I'm talking about game two when he got hurt, forcing him to miss game three. That's what I'm talking about. Remember, those are two games. And Klay Thompson wasn't – he was hobbling the rest of the series. If he was 100% healthy, Toronto wouldn't have beat Golden State. I don't care what anybody says. You can sit up there and go, oh, Stephen A's predictions are – y'all can kiss off, kick rocks. They had have won that series. They had have won that series. I'm telling you that right now. But having said all of that, here's the reality that we can't escape. See, we thought that without Clay and without Kevin Durant, Steph Curry would be unleashed. He would be free. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a human being. If you're a team like the Clippers that have scorers all over the place, Kawhi, Lou Williams, just to name a few, right? And on top of it all, you're rough and rugged. You're tenacious defensively. You're loaded with heart. You ain't scared of anybody. Every single person on their squad competes. And you got 10 bodies to throw at dudes. What exactly do you expect Steph Curry to do with that? I'm surprised the score was that close. They were down by 24 after three quarters. They lost by 19, but we know it was much worse than that. But what is Steph Curry supposed to do? There's nothing you could do against that that arsenal. There's nothing you can do. Absolutely, positively nothing. And you just have to understand that. You have to respect it. And I keep telling people this all the time, and they don't listen to this, but I defer back to the days of Larry Brown when he was coaching AI. I know the game was a little bit different then. But when you had guys like Eric Snow, Aaron McKee, George Lynch, Tyrone Hill, Theo Ratliff, and then after that, Dikembe Mutombo, the list goes on and on. Do you know what Larry Brown did? Here's the ball, Allen Iverson. Do what you need to do offensively. But these four brothers here have you defensively. They got you covered. We're going to make sure. We're we, we, we going to stop people. And that's what George Lynch and Eric Snow and all of those boys were committed to doing. Nobody was getting over. If the Sixers did nothing else, they would keep games tight because they put you under lock and key. But if you don't have the ability to do that, because you're Golden State and you're a bit hampered. And Draymond uh, Lo- uh, Green with Kevon Looney ain't going to do it. Listen, Willie Cauley-Stein, he's going to be important to that team. Not only because he can run up and down a, the court like a Giselle and, and finish at the basket, but he's going to also be able to block shots and rebounds to some degree. And that's going to take some of the pressure off of Draymond Green, who's an undersized guy on your front line. He just really, really knows how to play. You can't expect Steph Curry to go out there having to move without the basketball, run through picks and screens and all of this stuff, and launch, and expect him to survive over the course of 82 games. You can't expect that, ladies and gentlemen. You can't expect that. I'm not surprised at all by what happened to go to State. He doesn't have Klay Thompson. They might have lost last night anyway. But if Klay Thompson was was healthy, do you really think Golden State's going out like that? And speaking of Klay Thompson, I'm going to reiterate my point once again. I do not believe for one second he's going to be gone for the rest of the season. I don't believe it. I'm telling you right now, I don't believe it. I believe that Klay Thompson will return before this season is over. And if he's anything close to what he was, I think somebody's going to get knocked off in the postseason. 
I ain't saying Golden State's going to win the championship, but I think somebody's going to get knocked off. These are champions, man. Loaded with heart. Ain't scared of nobody. And the two greatest snipers in the history of basketball. I don't know what you're going to do with that. I'm not saying they're going to beat everybody, but they damn sure going to beat somebody. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.